It's unfortunate that most mothers nowadays don't get adequate nutrition during pregnancy or nursing periods, especially compared to our ancestors. I'm sure everyone has a story about a grandmother who popped out 10 or 15 kids like it's nothing. Now, people can't even have one child. We're practically infertile. This is exacerbated more in vegans and vegetarians, where if people that are consuming animal products on the regular aren't getting enough of these fat-soluble vitamins that only occur in animal foods, how can we expect vegans to be getting enough of these vitamins? We're going to take a look at what nutrients vary in breast milk and why these vitamins are so important. And then we're going to take a look at a vegan mother's diet and just how severely her diet is lacking in nutrition for the child. So the first study here shows that the conversion rates of vitamin A from carotene in plant foods is very low and limited by certain genetic predispositions. This is important because breast milk vitamin A levels vary greatly depending on what the woman is consuming in her diet. So we can safely say that vitamin A in the diet and absorption correlates directly to the nutrition status of the vitamin A in the breast milk. Now, both vitamin A and vitamin K require fat for optimal absorption. So it's safe to say that vegans that aren't consuming high amounts of fat are not only lacking the more available forms of vitamin A and vitamin K from animal products, but they're also lacking the fat that's required to metabolize it from its plant form. And the vitamin K ties in because even people on a standard American diet consuming plenty of animal foods do have vitamin K deficiencies in infants. So they're suggesting that it needs to be supplemented regardless of diet. We also see variances in breast milk DHA levels, B vitamin levels between mothers, and just overall vitamin discrepancies in breast milk to pretty noticeable standards, even vitamin D. And vitamin D ties in because most vegans do have low vitamin D levels as the lack of fat-soluble vitamins in their diet and cholesterol is causing them to not metabolize vitamin D3 properly. So now that we've established the vitamin importance in breast milk, we can take a look at what this mother's eating and gauge whether or not the child is getting optimal nutrition. Hey guys, this is Monami Frost and today I am doing a what I eat in a day video. I really wanted to film this, but <laughs> I almost forgot this morning. I already made my breakfast and I made a smoothie bowl. I'm already eating it. It's a banana, raspberry, and strawberry smoothie. I put a lot of dates in there. And then on top, I put some grapes. I put some pear, blueberries, and raspberries. And I have some walnuts, hemp seeds, desiccated coconut. That's about it and it is super delicious. At one point during the pregnancy, I wasn't able to eat anything like this because that's the normal food that I usually eat in the mornings. But while I was sick for the four months or more that I was sick, I just couldn't eat all of that. It just made me kind of sick. So now I'm so glad that I can eat it. I'm still pretty sick in the mornings, but I haven't thrown up in like three weeks or so, which is great, yay. I'm now 25 weeks and it is going well. This is very, very delicious. So the breakfast that I'm having, it's just taking me a long time to eat because since I am pregnant, I cannot eat as fast and as much as I used to because I just feel like I don't have enough space. Who's that? It's Gabby. Oh, Gabby. Still probably going to take like a half an hour or so. Already taken a half an hour to eat. Just feeling a little bit sick now. I'm just lightheaded. Can't finish my breakfast. I'm trying. I'm getting you know, waves of a little, little bit of nausea. It's gonna pass. It's just I woke up really early. I am feeling pretty sick, so I will take a nap in a little bit. I just had to wrap up some presents, Christmas presents. We'll take a little nap. I still haven't finished that breakfast. That was a lot. 
I will probably finish it a little bit later. I don't mind eating smoothie bowl that has set outside for like two hours. <laughs> so I had a nap. <laughs> you can see my hair is a mess. I just, and I am feeling a little bit better. I just need to start eating because if I don't eat after I sleep right away, then I kind of start feeling sick again. I really just want to eat some sandwiches. I don't think anything really needs to be explained about the meal. There's no significant nutrition in there. All she's having is sugar and starch and carbohydrates. I think people are a little bit out of touch with nature and how survival actually would have been for mothers. And if you're sitting here as a pregnant woman, you're nauseous, you can barely eat, you can barely function. I don't think this is how humans are supposed to be. And I don't think this was how humans ever were until modern access to food and lack of nutrition. I don't want to go too far into that. But so far at this point, I mean, I think what we'll see is that these vegans tend to eat as well as act like children. So I'm making sandwiches for me with some coconut butter. Coco Mega, and this is a pate. <laughs> I like sprayed it all over my hands. Wait, so this is a pate, a vegan pate. I'm not sure country is it from, but we got it from Latvia because they sell these in Latvia. This is an onion pate. It is super delicious. So I'm gonna put all of that on the sandwiches, and I'm gonna put some. Cucumber on top and maybe some tomato. These are the sandwiches that I prepared. On this one I put that um, onion pate, but on this one I just left the butter and tomato. I love that. And just sprinkled a little bit of salt. And I poured in a little bit of tiny bit of green tea and some water in here. I mean, she put some very high water vegetables on bread with some coconut butter spread and onion pate. This is literally just macronutrients. She's getting some starches. She's getting some fats from the coconut. But there's no significant vitamin content in any of the food she's consumed so far. I'm getting a little bit hungry. It is 3 o'clock. I don't really, didn't eat, really eat that much during the day. And, but I'm getting hungry and I'm going to eat a pomegranate. I love pomegranates and especially if they're really ripe and good. It's so delicious. These are so ripe. Let me prepare this. Here's the pomegranate. I guess she needs to get her sugar fix every half hour. And I'm gonna eat it. I love it. So I've gotten quite hungry and I prepared some food for myself. It was really, really quick because these are just some noodles. We got these noodles at Costco. It's just like ready, ready-made noodles. Like yeah, the healthiest, but they're super yummy. I love noodles. Acting like a child, eating like a child, kind of goes hand in hand with the vegan diet. Uh, this meal she's having is again, just pure carbohydrates. Uh, I'm very curious to see how many meals this girl is going to have today. Just peeled two apples. I finished the noodles, but I'm still feeling a little bit hungry. So is this some sort of alternate universe? I feel like every time I'm watching a vegan video, some like vegan kale god overlord is just trolling me because literally after every single meal, these vegans have dessert. She had to have pomegranate after her sandwiches. Now she's having apples after a bowl of noodles. Literally blood sugar going up and down, up and down all day. Apples, because sometimes I don't like the skin of apples. Kind of how they feel and rub against my teeth and stuff. So yeah, just gonna quickly eat these guys. I love apples so freaking much. Just chilling in the bed. I'm starting to think that I want to squeeze some orange juice. Baby is moving. I just posted a video on Instagram how she's moving. Try to film it now with this camera. So 
So I peeled four oranges. That's all I had. And now I'm gonna juice them. Got the juice. Yum. Do you want some, baby? Careful. The sugar addiction is insane. I honestly didn't expect this coming into this video. I really don't understand how by playing some like soft acoustic guitar music and going up to the camera and talking with a really soft voice can cover up the complete lack of nutrition in your diet and your addiction to sugar. But I guess people tend to take things at face value and or under the guise that fruits and vegetables are the holy grail as it's what we've been told our whole lives. So I decided for dinner to make some bulgur wheat salad. It is a salad that is from my recipe book. I really, really love it. It's super easy and simple and very nutritious and delicious. And here I have already got some beans and chickpeas in and I've just, just boiled up some bulgur wheat and I have some red pepper and yellow pepper and a red onion and my hubby is going to bring home the parsley to add to it. So yeah, I'm just going to slice up the peppers and going to put them all in. Just finished making this bulgur wheat salad. It looks so delicious. I love it. Yummy. I'm going to plate it up and eat. Daddy is home and we're just going to eat that salad. So good. Mm. So fresh. Feel tired from making it. <laughs> Not standing too long. I'm gonna take forever now eating this. So we're gonna share a pastry, savory, that my grandma brought us from Latvia. I don't even know what flavor this is. No idea. Surprise. It might be like a veggie one. Like it's spinach and stuff, maybe. Spinach and tofu could be. She said there was tofu. Mm -hmm. So guys, I think that is it for today. I'm pretty full after d dinner time. And I'm just drinking some peppermint tea now. And I'm gonna go to bed. It's like 9.30 or something. I'm pretty sleepy. Well, it's safe to say there was no semblance of nutrition in anything she ate today. Now, what struck me was that she said bulgur wheat was nutritious, but bulgur wheat is a grain that has no considerable vitamin content whatsoever. So if she thinks that a food's carbohydrate and fiber content is what counts as nutrient density, then by all means, go ahead. But if we go over what she ate today, she had oatmeal, starch, carbohydrates, perhaps some vitamin C in the fruit. The sandwiches she had, same thing, pure macronutrients, pomegranate, noodles, apples, orange juice, bulgur wheat, pastry. All this woman has eaten today is sugar from fruit and starch from grains. There is no significant vitamin content in any of the foods she's consuming and she genuinely believes that it's nutritious. How does she not wonder why she acts like she's in a coma all day, laying on the couch? You're consuming these foods that have a high anti-nutrient content that aren't being prepared properly, and although they might not have too much of a negative impact on your digestion, your body is lacking protein, it's lacking fat. If you added these foods into any normal diet that has animal foods present, the person might be fine. What really struck me was how much sugar this woman ate. She had the dates and the fruit in her oatmeal. She had the pomegranate after lunch. Then she had noodles, starch. And after the noodles, she had to have more sugar. She had some apples and then some orange juice. And then she moves on to dinner and you might think, okay, there's some semblance of being reasonable. At least she didn't eat any more sugar. And then she goes to have a pastry after dinner. So. All of these things that I've spoken in the past about vegan diets, it just seems so cookie cutter and comical 
These people are addicted to sugar. They think they're healthy. They're not getting any nutrition. It's really unfortunate, and it makes me sad, uh, to be honest, uh, you know, seeing this family with their daughter. Uh, guys, please try to be positive with this. I will link all the studies and the resources in the description if you would like to look into this further. Uh, if you guys would like to support the channel, please subscribe and share the video. You guys can check out my Amazon shop. I have a bunch of products on there I use every day. If you get some cod liver oil from there, that's more nutrition than this woman gets in a year. Uh, you guys, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter. You guys wanna reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one consultations in regards to increasing the nutrient density of your diet. Hey, even you vegans out there, Shoot me an email. Everything's in the description for you guys.